talk about in this episode, we're going to talk about the first ever Area 51 street fight in the history of professional wrestling, as far as I know. If this has happened anywhere else, please let me know so I can call Wolfram and Hart and arrange a, uh, a lawsuit. That dirty, stinking, scaly, smelly, lying, cheating lizard person, Ray Fury, the current conspiracy sport pro heavyweight champion. Stepping in the ring one more time with the agent of change. The toughest man walking flat earth. That's me. Because the last time we locked it up, he totally cheated. And yeah, I had the belt in my hands. What I was going to do with that belt, it doesn't matter. He kicked that belt right into my face. He got the one, two, three. He slinked off into the night like a, like the thief that he is. But I, I couldn't let that stand. So I had to go to the commissioner of Conspiracy Sport Pro, none other than a guy I've been talking about on these last couple episodes, Ryan Ocean. He's all over the place. He's everywhere. He's got his hands in all kinds of in all kinds of things. And yeah, we got some beef going on over at uh, Revolt Pro, but he is a man of the people. He understands the principle, and he did the right thing. I explained my uh, my case to him, and he he did the right thing and made the, made the rematch, which they tried to make. A regular no DQ match, but I upped the ante again. I talked about this. Made it an Area 51 street fight. But now it was time. It was time to throw down Area 51 street fight style. And I had my anti conspiratorial brother in arms, El Cachi, fresh off of his uh, his MK Ultra mind control sessions. He was ready to fight the conspiracy. But I told him, I said, stay back. Stay back behind the curtain, my friend. Let me handle business. Let the juice man show you how it's done. So we went to town on each other, me and uh, me and Ray Fury, kicking the crap out of each other. I beat the crap out of him with my flag. I hit him with a chair. I broke out a ladder. But then I ended up getting thrown into it. But things really started escalating to the point where El Cachi just couldn't, couldn't help himself. He had to come out and help me get involved. Trying to pin his lizard shoulders to the mat and bring the heavyweight championship of Conspiracy Sport Pro to the anti-conspiratorial movement to Conspiracy Force as we're calling ourselves so we had to go to the next level we had to go to try to straight up take, take Ray Fury out not just out of the match but out of life for good because there was a giant scaffold against the wall and Okachi brought that scaffolding over to the to the ring. He wheeled it over to the ring. And then I got Ray Fury up on my shoulders while Okachi went up top of the scaffolding for the biggest, baddest doomsday device you've ever seen. But Ray Fury, again, he's, he's, a, he's a liar and a cheater and a, a slimy lizard. And he wiggled off my shoulders. He hit me in the head with a chair. Gave me a big old lump on the back of my head. Then he went up top. He went up to the scaffold. They start trading blows up there, El Cachi and, and, and Ray Fury. And then poor El Cachi, he's just up there trying to fight the conspiracy. He gets thrown off the off the scaffolding into the ring. I think he landed on me. I don't remember. That's probably why. And then, crazy-ass Ray Fury jumps off the scaffolding, takes out me and El Cachi. And he gets the win again. He's still the, the Conspiracy Sport Pro heavyweight champion. This is total bullcrap. And I forgot to mention earlier in the earlier in the night, El Cachi got thrown into the mix. He had a three-way dance for the junior heavyweight championship. We really thought we had something figured out here. We thought we were both gonna be coming, walking out of this show, dripping in gold. Conspiracy force, rocking double titles. Holding all the singles titles in Conspiracy Sport Pro. And it didn't work out that way. So we're going to have to hit the, uh, hit, do some brainstorming and do some team building exercises, figure out what the heck's going on. 
with the future of we're gonna figure things out we're gonna figure out the best way to attack this conspiracy head on and I think we're gonna be coming back to Pensacola sometime in November so you can rest assured knowing that, that El Cacharino and the Juice Man will be back to fight that conspiracy to win some championships and do whatever the heck we want looking ahead to the next event we're going back to Foley, Alabama, the Gulf Coast Music Hall. Revolt Pro, can Juice Jennings stretch the winning streak to five in a row? I feel pretty good about it. We're going to be talking about that and so much more in the future episodes of Conspiracy Decoded. My name's Juice Jennings, and don't forget, it ain't a coincidence, it's a conspiracy, daddy!